We usually experience the wonderful crushing ability of the semicircular balance tip during cataract surgery in a clinical setting. Why does the balance tip offer better crushing ability than other FACO tips? The torsional FACO system involves rotating the FACO tip and crushing the nucleus. Conventional mini tips feature a bent shape. As the shaft of the FACO tip rotates, it swings like a pendulum. This results in increased crushing power at the tip. Although the balance tip has a semicircular shape, the FACO tip and shaft are on almost exactly the same axis. Because of this, unlike bend-shaped mini-tips, rotation of the FACO tip should create almost no movement at the end of the tip. Why is it that in clinical settings, it has a superior crushing ability than the mini-tip? We conducted an experiment to analyze real FACO tip behavior. Imaging was performed using the world's fastest high-speed camera, developed by Shimazu Corporation. We set up the camera with the following conditions. The utilized FACO machine settings are also shown here. We filmed a video with both the mini and balance tip movement. Automatic tracking was performed at points 1 through 5 from the end of the tips as shown. This graph shows the results of the experiment. First, this data indicates the range of amplitude at each point. At point 1, the oscillation of the balance tip was 1.5 times greater than that of the mini tip. In contrast, at point 5, the oscillation of the mini tip was approximately 3 times greater than that of the balance tip. Next, we focused on the direction of the oscillation and found that oscillations at points 1 and 2 were in the opposite direction compared with those at points 3, 4, and 5. This indicates that both the mini tip and balance tip flex as they move. However, we found that the shaft of the balance tip bent only very slightly, whereas the shaft of the mini tip bent significantly. We extensively tried to investigate not only the area of 5 mm from the end of the tip, but also the middle part of the shaft. In the mini tip, the shaft was highly bent, even in the middle part of the shaft. In other words, the design of a mini tip enables it to obtain amplitude of oscillation with pendular movements. However, as seen from our previous results, the centrifugal force from the end of the tip causes the shaft to bend. Therefore, the important torsional rotation force might be transmitted to the entire tip shaft and be lost there. In the balance tip, you can see that the shaft bends like a whip because the balance tip is semicircular in shape with low rigidity at the terminal end. This design does not cause the rotational force to escape to the shaft and concentrates the rotational force only at the end of the tip. In addition, to confirm that the force is actually being transmitted and has escaped throughout the shaft in the mini tip, we use the thermographic camera to observe the heat emitted by the FACO tips. The sleeves were attached to the FACO handpiece with both tips, and we measured the amount of heat on the surface of the sleeves. As shown here, the shaft portion of the mini tip has become red as it reached a high temperature of 60.4 degrees centigrade. In contrast, the highest temperature reached by the balance tip was 32 degrees centigrade. These findings indicate that the important rotational force is transmitted and lost throughout the shaft especially in the mini tip. Sometimes we often observe the dispersion of the iris pigment near the cataract incision site using the mini tip. However, the reason behind this is still unknown. We suspect that this is due to the instability of the shaft movement. We conducted the next experiments to observe iris pigment dispersion by FACO tip using lacrimal duct endoscopy. We marked the sleeves on the shafts at a point 5 millimeters from the tip with black lines. The BSS flow causes iris fluttering during FACO. 
and we captured images of when the iris came closer to the sleeve. In the mini tip, as the iris touched the sleeve, we found that the iris pigment dispersed like mistral form at the contact lesion and caused the iris to depigment. In the balance tip, unlike the mini tip, we found no pigment misting and no marked depigmentation in the iris. In other words, when using a mini tip, energy is dispersed by the oscillation of the shaft, which may cause damage to the surrounding tissues. The balance tip was definitely moving. Moreover, our experiments elucidated that not only did the end of the tip exhibit wide oscillations, but also the instability of the tip shaft, which had caused various adverse effects, was reduced. Thus, the balance tip is truly a next-generation phago tip that utilizes the flexibility of the titanium alloy.